Go, we're gonna eventually get underway. Kebabs and Ozen's Legion, Hidden City, attack on the side of Kebabs. We should have <laughs> B, B, B for burning. It's B for burning. Okay, so we're same scenario once again. Unit picks and unit choices should all be kind of the same here, or should all be the same. There should never be a change. Should all be the same. Already underway. Lots of Jav Cav. Actually, I didn't even realize that the last time they went to Jav, Jav Cav. You choose one, pay, install, done. Yeah, I mean, it's probably straightforward. I just don't know, like, what what is better than what. If there's if there's a a more go to one that's better, you know, I wouldn't even know any of that. Don't know, no clue. I have no clue, Darwin. I have no clue. Right. So the first thing we're doing was we're checking. The rune system. We're making sure that nobody's got runes on it, and if they do, and it's the same team, they lose. They're out of it. I'm rough. I'm rough, Lexiana. I look rough. I'm a broken man. Still got the same hair that I did last night. <laughs> Cheek. New setup, haha. Been a while. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a newer setup, yeah. It's a little bit different. A little bit different. I'm good, man. I'm good. There's a three minute delay, though, so, so you're hearing me a little bit later than everything else, but. We're all good. Who's that? Huh? Who's that? I am not saying anything, honey. If Steph... What? If Steph thought your hair was a mess last night, oh. <laughs> you can, I was buying doubles. I could blame you. Well, I didn't realise you were buying doubles, because that's maybe why I was feeling it, Lexi. I wasn't buying doubles whatsoever. I couldn't hack that. Right, are we okay for rune systems? No runes on anybody. We are Gucci and we're underway. Ready to go. I was showing them how, how, how rough I look, so Lexi just giggled at it. She's giggled. Okay, so, first of what you're going to try and do here is stop these uh, siege towers to be used. Obviously, the only artillery you get is the artillery that is outside on the battlefield and on the battlefield. Uh, on top of the walls uh, is the only ones we get to use so they're going to use them as much as they can to try and whittle down the siege towers to stop them slow them down as much as possible well some other players try and get on the wall to disrupt them not let them use it mischievous like Tixie. yep but for the most part that was a nice little snipe there they picked off one of the heroes or at least his horse is dead that poor horse that zebra is dead it was a zebra Pray for the zebra guys, pray for the zebra. Crazy's over here kicking down ladders. They're all doing their job for kicking ladders, dealing damage. I'm surprised though, they have javelins out, but they don't bring javelins up to try and whittle down the siege towers. Like nobody's nobody's doing it. There's tribes getting used for that last cannon over there because people were avoiding it and missing it, but we've used one tribe so far. And that takes out the cannon to stop that siege tower. The siege towers will probably no doubt, get mounted. The defensive area here is probably the death balls that they have here in the in the wall. A good chance here. Odin's uh, will be looking to do some work in the background there uh, and down and rotate quite well around the bottom stairwells. Obviously, once the siege towers are up and you make your way down, they give A for free, and then it's all about building your momentum from coming down the stairs. Getting stuck down a stairway to fight is not a good fun fight. Um, going down you guys on the on the bottom half have a better positioning uh, to be doing it so let's go other team than du is cheering for <laughs> that's it that's it so yeah like we says a free cap here for a the siege tower on the left and uh, right have both been mounted as well as the far siege tower over there as well so everything is already in prep for the guys of kebabs to sort themselves out and get themselves and units all organized for the next push, wherever that may be, whatever their their choice of strategy is here. The supply point 
in the background here is quite a quite a uh, like a useful uh, supply point area here just to, just highlighted there now that it is capped uh, but this supply point here is definitely like a go to so is the other one like it, if you can get any one of the supply points you kind of need it to kind of give yourself an advantage here for that long uh, trek back and forward but it's all about how you get to that uh, area and how you do your work because the defensive side of things you you're in a certain area here in the middle of the map they've got a perfect way to rotate either side they've got a supply point either way so whether you're defending this side or the right side you're in a good position for it but like we says kebabs gonna have to just find their way up and uh, get all their units up to where they want to go or to where they ever they want to go and try and see what they can do the siege tower we've still got the gate there the barricade is about to be taken down so the gate will fall in just a second as we watch that hammer coming through and there we go the gate is now open as well so you've got RPGs in there they've got Modal in there they've got an Iron Reaper they've got flamers in the back here as well ready for any push to kind of stop that as much as possible Treb's coming in on top of the wall an interesting Treb because not really much gets into the into the gateway there so it was kind of a waste of Treb but a deterrent, I guess. That was a deterrent one. Now everybody starts to move on the side of kebabs. They're looking to go down this left-hand side, watching rotation of the guys of Odin's Legion. Are they going to rotate or too much over one way, and then they can use an opportunity to go elsewhere? Ruffle, Senji, and Spencer are all having a look over that side just to make sure that there isn't any cheeky play coming in from the other side. As kebabs now start mounting up their men and ready to start making a full on push down that one way. There is guys looking to come through the gate as well. And potentially we'll get in gate and we'll get a fight down the bottom of the stairwell here. The units are all now moving. Odin's Legion start to move. As that happens, kebabs test it back out and they get their ranged firing down. Javelins are thrown up here as well. Good Good, good, we good, we knock out there. Some of the javelins do some work there from Odin's Legions guys. We're on down some of the units, not so many, but just uh, just enough to put them off and have to skid them back up the stairwell there. It's all about that. That was like a, a bait and switch. The switch took a little bit longer though, so the, a couple of their units did get uh, did fall to the javelins. Obviously, javelins are going to have to get resupplied uh, at some point. This, but nowadays with the the whole system and. Uh, for units and stuff and your uh, extra throws that the javelins got you can stay there a little bit longer f throw a lot more javelins as you can see them coming flying in again now there's a really quick push here from kebabs you get the ISGs to the bottom of the stairs they've got modal they've got palace guards ready as well but here comes the banner guard charge followed up by a palace guard charge here the brace comes in from both sides here on the palace guards and it was a full on fight at the bottom of the stairwells flames coming from the back end here of Warden's Legion as the guys all try to make their way down Senji Grenadiers thrown over the top you've got Houndsman at the top here the stairs trying to deal with damage and an IPG march comes in here units falling heroes are falling on both sides here but unit wise it's, it's very much in favour of Odin's Legion at this moment in time we're still 300 units up here as the boys of uh, Kebab start pushing in the front gate as well here trying to m deal some good damage a lot of units down but hero wise Odin's Legion are down oh they're down six heroes down six heroes and here comes a big push now they're down to six heroes alive kebab have a full on push here they get that supply point now and they've got an opportunity to go straight towards b here is it going to be a quick enough rotation here from Odin's legion spawning in they're down to four heroes and that was a really quick engagement a really quick over and done with but heroes just whittled down far too quickly there for Odin's legion that's not what you want in the side of the defense there so they're going to grab a b take care for free they don't have the numbers or men for it so they're going to have to rotate off of that Kami Hedro's been picked up, Shar Shar's slowing him down and that literally knocks him off the horse and gets him killed here as well. So now Kebabs set herself up. That was a really quick and very well executed push there. Considering Oda's Legion had flamers, they had javelins and everything there as well, it just didn't last long enough. There wasn't enough damage to deal uh, against the heroes and the heroes survive. A, a good push there. So Kebabs working very strong in, in the half of their, uh, in their push there. All the sexy boys now moving up towards this left supply point here. They're going to grab that for free while Jav Kava roaming around in back for Oda's Legion. In the back here we have ISGs once again. Both sets of ISGs on either side. You've got a unit of Flamers, as uh, I kill a militia, sorry. Uh, Iron Reapers, IPGs. You've also got Fort Brasho on this side. Units of Banner Guards all coming in. 
on the attack side of things though we have IAPGs, armor girl lancers. Oh, they're all swapping them out. So we're getting some tertios, we're getting some Senji Grenadiers as well. Is that Sen that's Senji Grenadiers, right? So here we go, kebabs. Now, they have all the time they've got nine minutes here to cap home. They've got nine minutes, they've got twelve tribes available. Their unit wise is not as good. They are down unit numbers, but if their push goes as strongly and as quickly as it did, for killing them heroes as that last one, they might have the advantage, and that's all you need. It's about having the heroes available. The units will die afterwards. So Javcav doing their work here. Look at showing up. Septo trying to use their Javcav to as much possible, deal some damage from a good distance and not get them in harm's way. As the kebab guys start to rotate down the center point here, we're now looking to get an opportunity and see where they're going to make their push from. Everybody's expecting a push from that main entrance here, and that's normally what happens, but Kebab's changing things up here. Not doing it like a siege, this is completely different. We're a 15-man guys, they're all making their way into the same position, knowing they got something to do. Zykeela so Militia in a very good position over here, on the, on the wall here. Up, up, up on a really high ground so they can get a better arc over and as you can see they do get a good arc over and do manage to deal some damage over that top of that wall that's a perfect position and I really like that play that was very well done from the guys on kebabs there I've no idea who's got the Senjis but whoever does that that was fantastic very good very good effort now the push comes in nobody's expecting a full-on push comes in as you can see from uh, Odin's Legion having to panic there's guys coming on with the jav calf here Big push in, but there's a few players going to get another set of units. It's like they sent their unit in, and then now they're going in and get another unit. IPG March is coming in from the side of Kebabs. They're pushing out units once again, and it's a quite a close fight this time now. We're down to even units are falling down at the same rate as each other, and heroes wise. So we're down to 12v12 here on the attack here. But the push comes in, and the jab cap, uh, the, the cataphracts have come in, came in through the back of the Fort Brasho as well. So now there's no defensive system here. Now we get another set of units coming in. Another counter charge here straight through the center here. Armagers. They start to cap the point with Modals on the point. Heroes are there. There's only eight alive for Odin's Legion though. It is not looking favorable in the hands of Odin's Legion here. So far really strong pushes from kebabs. So quick, so executed well and even though they were used losing units they were not dying hero wise and Odin's Legion are down to three heroes alive at this point in time. They're all going to come in from the spawn here but they're all getting blocked off already. There's cavalry patrolling. They're going to have to get there quickly if they want to survive this. Ruffo is the only person on the point stopping that cap actually being capped. He'll survive for a little bit longer but he will get wiped out. The Fort Abrasho have stopped the unit of Armagers here and at this point in time it looks like kebabs is going to wipe the heroes out before the heroes can even get to stopping that cap here one of those short swords he actually is still trying to survive on it but that is it it was quicker than i was even expecting that there they were strong pushes there from the kebab side and like i said there's no memeing today that is not a memeing day today sexy valley gets the mvp on the kebab side there two hero kills seven to nine unit kills we've got Lama the Babe with 5 hero kills, also Yen with 5 hero kills, so good effort on the hero kill and it's uh, really quick, it uh, went really really well with that. Weren't Senji's banned? Uh, Falconetti and Senji's, it wasn't Senji Grenadiers, I meant to say, they were tertials, I, I said it wrong, don't worry. Um, on, the, uh, on the defense here, MVP A plus goes to Mist. 85 unit kills. In terms of hero kills, not really many hero kills on the side of Odin's Legion. They were wiped quicker uh, than they can even get hero kills uh, on the other side. Post-match analysis tells you that here as well. 29 heroes killed for kebabs against only 4. 